dreams of dreaming of an Eccles homestead where I turn my small backyard into my classroom for my dream of 10 acres. I am going to be digging up potatoes today and I'm bringing you along with me. The potatoes are hiding under the sweet potato vines. The sweet potato vines are taking over. I need to rescue the potatoes. You guys come along and hope you enjoy the video. I hope there are some potatoes in here. There are plenty of worms. There are little baby nubbing potatoes. And I'll throw these back in the ground for next year. All right, I ran out of memory, but this is what I harvested. And let's take you back over there. The, the buckets or the, the planters that was right next to here that wouldn't grow was operator error. They didn't have any holes in the bottom. So they were stagnating. So. I took one of the buckets that was left over here, the one that had the the um, pepper that wouldn't grow, and I mixed it in thoroughly. There was one worm in here, in there, so I guess it was trying to grow. So I mixed it in here, and my intent is to put um, either carrot seeds or kale in here, probably carrots, and then the other one. I put over here so that it can dry out. Um, there was one worm in it as well. Let's see, can you guys see the bees? You see them? I guess she said, "Get out of my face." <laughs> but I put the other one over here so that it can dry out, and. And it'll be ready for, I think I'll put the kale over here. Because I can cover this one up a little bit. To keep some of the winter off of it. But this lemon basil and cinnamon basil are absolutely covered in bees. I haven't seen this many bees in my yard. I've seen all of the little, what are they, carpenter bees? I've seen millions of those. Oh, oh, go away little lady, go away. I'm not messing with you. Don't mess with me. Let me get out of their way so they can finish doing what they were doing. And let me mind my business so that I don't get stung. All right. I also took out a bunch of the um, zinnias because they were covered in 
powdery mildew. I never did get around to um, spraying them with some peroxide solution. But I took a bunch of them out. There's still a lot in. It's supposed to storm today and tomorrow I'll give it a peroxide spray. Ah! Y'all heard that right. A bee just dived right at my ear. All right, it is time to go inside. I'll see you guys next time. <sighs> On Dreaming of an Eccles Homestead. You guys have a blessed day. Bye. Thank you.